PC Crash 10, the multi-body joint model has been revised. There are new joint types that allow you to do more complicated and more realistic models than was previously possible. What we have here is a rider on a motorcycle colliding with the side of a car. But the motorcycle multi-body has been built with different joint types. We now have pin joints for the wheels and a piston types translation joint for the forks. So as the multi-body slides along, the wheels start rotating and the fork compresses. See it dives down there. And the wheels continue spinning. Oh, and in this case, also the handlebar can turn attached to the front wheel, so the forks can turn, which allow you to do all the kind of uh, trailing caster and gyroscopic stability effects for a motorcycle. You, furthermore, you can specify joint limits, so this can be applied to the body as well to prevent things like the knee or elbows hyperextending. And furthermore, it's pretty fast. Here's that simulation run from scratch. So three seconds of simulated time is probably going to take about 12, 15 seconds here. And that's it. So with the new multi-body joint model and joint limits, there's going to be a lot more uh, possible possibilities for multi-body based simulations in PC Crash 10.